I killed a Spino and you're having trouble with some little bugs? They're hard to hit. They're hit boxes. <laughs> this thing is just attacking. Hey guys, Zuljan here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved where we apparently make you dizzy until you puke on your screen. <laughs> <laughs> As you heard his evil, wicked laugh, that's Drax in the back. What's and, up, man? Uh, we're here today to do a Q and is a. So thank you guys so much for all the amazing support on the ARC series so far. Drax is loving it too. As always, guys, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give us some dap on that like button. If you don't know what dap is, we're going to start out the question the first question of Q&A, what is DAP? DAP is a sign of friendship and support that you give by doing something with your hand, a hand gesture to, that sounded so wrong, <laughs> Je a gesture with your hand, like fist bumps or shaking of the hands or uh, pound, some people call it, but it's, it's DAP. Do you see what's in front of us? What is in front of us? Oh, it's a Spino. What level is it? Oh. I got well, a question though. What is uh? Oh, it's seventy six. How do you spell DAP? D A P. D A P. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. If you search DAP on the internet, you won't get any dirty images or whatever. You'll you'll get what you're supposed to. Um, we we can't go down here, Drax. Or we're gonna have to kill this thing. <laughs> I mean, oh, right. you got you got a long rifle. I I don't have a long rifle on me. I have my uh, my shotgun, which right. I will gladly go shoot it in the face. Uh, let me get a few arrows right quick, and I will help you. Oh, you know what? It might be moving off far enough. You think so? Whoa. If it gets a hold of us, it's gonna be ugly. All right. So dap dap is you you laying some love on that like button. Huh? Right. That's basically what dap is. That's why I asked for it. It's uh, it's something different, man. Every YouTuber has their own thing. I wanted my own thing. I always give dap to my boys, and my boys always give dap to me. So, it just seemed like Killed that it. was the. <laughs> I didn't even make arrows yet. <laughs> anyway, jeez, guns and ammo and stuff. Anyway, that's good. Now that now that we got that out of the way, the next question is um. Uh, what are some of your guilty pleasures? That's actually from Aaron. Aaron Ifoy. I don't know, but it seemed it's it's supposedly the question of the day. So as far as my guilty pleasures, I mean, I like eating. I like drinking alcohol. Uh, what do you like to do, Trax? Is the whole not get attacked by Titan I Aminunas? Mean, <laughs> I'm getting st I'm getting stoned while not you know what I mean not <laughs> my, I mean my guilty pleasures I don't know that's always a tough one to me like soda's probably my biggest thing uh, soda oh my, I, that's huge for me too yeah and I, I've tried to quit drinking soda so many times and it just I can always come back to it I always come back to it well you have, soda is delicious like, I killed a Spino and you're having trouble with some little bugs they hard to hit. They're hit boxes. <laughs> this thing is just attacking. Oh my God! Thank you. <laughs> Jeez, hardest Q and A ever. <laughs> All right. Oh. Yeah. So eating, drinking. It used to be smoking, but I don't do that anymore. Um, so never smoke, kids, because it's not good for you. And adults, you should quit too, because your life is better when you don't do it. Even though it doesn't <laughs> seem like that for six months, it will be. All right. Let me. Let me get some stone here. And I, I've um, never, I've never smoked. I tried it once, and it burned my lungs so bad I thought I was gonna die right there. So. Yeah, that's the th that's the weird thing. Like, you forget until after you start doing it, and it's really, really harsh at first. And everybody te seems to forget that. Like, it's not supposed to hurt. I mean, it's not supposed to feel good. You, you can tell it hurts, but you do it anyway because it gives you a stupid little buzz. Like, and it's a head buzz, like the same buzz that you get from getting up real fast or getting on the Ferris wheel the wrong way. Like, it's nothing, you know, but people people still send, tend to do it, so it's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, whoa, whoa, if you back up too much, I won't be able to move. Uh, the best thing is just, like, to avoid those big rocks out there and just stay inside the, uh, the stream. Right. Am I hitting the, the I smithy? I think you hit a Oh, no, I know what I'm hitting, this stupid thing. 
It sound, it was like whoops, whoops. It doesn't get rid all right, finally. Jesus, these things are hard to harvest. Okay. Oh god, it's shallow waters. Here's all right, that's good, that's good, that's good. Shallow is good. See, all this I'm still getting stone. Um not to be confused with getting stoned, like people that do <laughs> illicit substances to to kind of like cigarettes, okay? Um, <laughs> how tall are you? Uh, actually, Drax and I are probably about the same height. I'm 5'9". Yep, 5'9", 5'10", depending on what gas station I'm walking out of. Yeah, okay. I never heard of that, <laughs> but, anyway, but that's good. <laughs> it's, it's something, uh, Blue Collar Comedy Tour, it's Ron White. Oh, I like Ron White. Yeah, he's a good comedian, man. Uh, let's see. I recently moved from Louisiana, Baton Rouge, and I really miss Louisiana. Can you tell me your three favorite things to do while you are growing up? Um, so I'll, I'll do it in spurts. My, my three favorite things that I did when I was growing up is probably, number one, when I was a, a, a tiny, tiny, tiny kid, um, I liked to swing on the swing set outside. We, um, I know this is going to be crazy, but we had an old tape player. Yeah, those things exist. Oh. Am I hitting? How was I hitting hit, that thing? Am I hitting the other the one, too? One, but you're not, you're not hitting the other one. Okay, well, there goes one smithy. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I liked going through the sw uh, on the swing set, listening to, uh, listening to old stuff, man, like old rock and roll music and just... Um, Cutting up and just swinging for hours and hours and hours. Uh, also, Are liked, you hitting anything here? No, I'm not hitting anything. I'm just All swinging right, like which crazy. Which way? Which way is the best way to go? Um, probably just keep forward right here. And to the right? Yeah. Yeah, through all where all those other river rocks are. There we go. I could probably get some of these. A little bit further up. There we go. Uh, so, yeah. And I also liked... Let's see, what else did I like to do when I was a kid? I loved going to cookouts when I was a little bit older and I could enjoy because I would get to go play with my cousins and my friends and stuff uh, when we were doing cookouts. What are you trying to do, Drax? Fix the uh, smithy thing? No, no, no. I killed the carno over there. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Dude, you just <laughs> mopping the floor with these fools, huh? Um, yeah. I, Dude, I love this double barrel shotgun. Like, it's my favorite. It's your favorite thing, huh? All right, I got these. Uh, let's bring up melee again. So yeah, um, as far as my third thing that I like to do when I was a kid is easy. That was game. I loved playing games with my friends. Um, we would all gather around and like one of our friends would get a new game or something. We liked RPGs for like the Nintendo it was big. And basically we would just all gather around and let them play and you know we would drink cokes and eat chips and stuff and just watch that person play that's how i fell in love with doing lps because i always liked watching games before games was something that you could watch you know we we would make it happen um and everybody would just get into it you know we'd talk about stats for characters and monsters and and stuff like that it was really really cool what about you buddy uh well i i had a dirt bike growing up that i used to ride around all the time and i had i also had a tape player that i would listen to uh, i remember the tape i don't remember any of the songs but i remember the tape said open road rock on it and uh yeah that was that was probably my biggest thing um i did i did play quite a bit of video games but i didn't get into it heavy until uh until gosh about six seven years ago like it was pretty late when I really got into gaming. But so what was your first? What was your first like gaming that you like? Was it PC or was it a console that you started big on? Like what? Like when you say you get like you got into it, the defining moment would be what you bought a new console or. It was uh, Xbox, the original Xbox on uh, Halo Two, and uh, uh, I was a part of the gaming community and everything. Look out! See you in the Raptor. I was, I was. Your honor. I, I, um, excuse me, sir, sir. Oh, oh, I just shot Z in the face. And I just <laughs> shot, I just, I just speared your face. Drax, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Um, <laughs> how do we even, how do we didn't even think about a bed? No. Nope. Uh, all right. Well, we're, I guess gonna, we're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna pause this Q and A, folks. We'll be we'll be our beast. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Oh, Drax, you still didn't make a bid, my dog. Oh, nope, I sure yeah. didn't. Uh, okay. Structures. While you getting bids. a bid together, I'll start talking again. Um, Zuljan, have you ever thought about making videos on Clash of Clans or other mobile games? I'm sure Drax could talk a lot about this, too. So... <laughs> Y'all, for those of you who don't know, there's a huge stigma on mobile games, and they are very, very aggressively promoted, and they are they pretty much pay people to pay them. And sponsorships aren't like a bad word, but most of these games aren't like sponsored because of just in general game sales. They're sponsored because they have microtransactions in them. And Clash of Clans is one of those types of games. So basically what ends up happening is there's they're 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 wanting youtubers to advertise their games so they can get more clientele to do microtransactions and typically the uh the campaigns are a little uh, what i would consider shallow in the gaming world most of them um and there's there's just a lot of that so technically if there's a game that as multi-platform like something like crashlands that i'm playing now or or um rogue wizards i can totally support that especially if it doesn't have microtransactions um as far as just supporting um mobile games in general typically most of them aren't i'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and say it most of them aren't good enough for me to play like they yep. they just aren't real good games you know um crashlands is and Rogue Wizards is, there's a lot of other games that I do play on mobile, you know, some of them aren't LP worthy, like, you know, my wife loved Candy Crush, and I know it'd be popular, but I wouldn't play Candy Crush on my channel, like, you know, Right. so, how about you, and that, man? That's always been my thing, too, is, you know, I've gotten offered sponsorships, and just like you have on that kind of stuff, and it's, I've always said, you know, if the game's worth it, maybe, but the game has to be worth it, not the right. sponsorship. So. Right, yeah. And it's the same thing. Like most of the sponsorships that I've taken, have they're they're basically a game that I want to play, and a game that I'd like to show. But at the same time, it's not necessarily a game that will do well enough on my channel to support me giving it a try. Like I didn't think Need for Speed would do incredibly well, um, but me and you, we had a lot of fun playing that game even off camera before I started doing the LP of it. You know, yep. so it's games like that. Like some games just don't do that well on the channel. And once you start a series, sometimes it's a little bit hard to stop. As some of you know, you know, uh, people get attached to a series, which is cool. It's just like when your favorite show goes off the air, you know, because of ratings or whatever. It sucks, but uh, because you liked it, it's just a lot of people, a lot of other people didn't. So anyway, that's that's the long and the short of um, of mobile games like mobile Clash gaming, of Clans. Yeah. I never personally played Clash of Clans, but. I know it had that stigma associated with it. Um, let's see. I need to. I often like, like I'll play there. a lot of them, but it's normally something I'll download, play it for maybe a week, and then I'm bored of it. You know. Right. So the next question is, what was my first platform? Um, like, what was my first? Let's see how it reads. What was your first gaming platform? And do you have any significant memories of playing particular games? Yeah, my first particular gaming platform was a Nintendo, uh, just a regular old eight-bit Nintendo. And the game that I have most significant memories playing, um, the first one I think is uh, a f uh, my cousin had a game called Gyromite, and Gyromite had a robot, and the game was terrible. Um, but Gyromite was supposed to, like, it was an automated way to lift gates up and stuff. You need some help over there? No, I'll get the little jerk. <laughs> uh, Come to me, buddy. Dang, I, how many I, hits he's got to take? I know, this one's a little tougher. What level was he? 56. Wow. All Might right. have been just the water holding back a lot of the shots. Right, <laughs> quite possibly. Uh, there's some more on the right side. Just keep you keep your distance, and we should be fine. Um, so yeah, and my my most favorable memory, I think, is like what I was talking earlier, getting getting together with people. I remember playing Destiny of an Emperor for NES, and um, me being at my good friend um, good friend across the street's house, and his mom was actually playing the game. She liked uh, NES a lot too, especially the RPGs. 
and basically we just all <laughs> like gathered around and sat there and we made a weekend of it and we beat destiny of an emperor from start to finish um we even like when she had to rest or when she wanted to eat or cook supper and stuff like we took turns grinding levels out you know <laughs> like just go and fight uh you know regular old battles to get um to get xp nice. and stuff yeah it was pretty fun and you said already that yours was the uh the halo deal for the um xbox yeah now yeah. that wasn't my first one that was my first like it was your first real i was one. into it yeah like my mom had an nes and i actually have that nes now and i have a ton of games for it like the old legends of zelda and everything um but uh, i'd say my first really memorable one i had a playstation like the old school one that was real thick and uh, like was really squared off the gray that had yeah. the, uh, the yeah. pop-up lid uh-huh and I had, um, I remember playing Spyro. I used to play Spyro all the time on that thing. And it was, that that was probably my biggest memory is playing with a bunch of friends on Spyro. Right, that's cool. That is really cool. Yeah, playing with friends with games like that, that was just, that was, that was the stuff, man. I really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, next question. Hey Z, mine's a two-port question. Will we ever see Pooping Evolved return to Xbox? And I realize PC makes the most sense with the release dates. Um, two is, what do you think uh, the game has to offer on Xbox compared to PC experience? Thanks for taking the time to read this. I'm a big fan of records from England. So, right now, the only reason that we aren't doing Pooping Evolved on Xbox is that it does not support um, private manage servers like the yeah. like kind of like the pooping evolve server that we play on now it doesn't oh. support oh. that what's going on uh, you are glitching backwards for some reason oh um like right now you were behind me <laughs> oh that's weird uh, i'm still in front of you from from the looks of it Whoa. uh oh where do you come from in the water i i need help all right, I'm, buddy. I'm either lagging out or something. Uh oh, I think we're both lagging because I can't get off my, uh, I can't get off the raft. We broke the game. What's happening, Zay? Wait, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do nothing. Uh, I guess we'll come back. Uh, and the raptor just ran away. How is this even? Oh yeah, it's huge lag. Everything is everything is. Yep. I've never seen this happen before. I know, me neither. We'll be RB. 400 feet and then you can't kill him and the the thing is it keeps coming back for more too like an idiot like yep. you don't you, you realize you just got somebody knocked somebody hit you so hard you flew back 15 feet watch it Drax <laughs> you got a mosquito on you bro it's it can't hit you you can't get these you cannot get these <laughs> <laughs> they can't keep my going life. for you they're gonna keep going for you I wonder if let, let, me, let me try to help you. Oh, they're coming. For <laughs> Dude, the mosquitoes, why? I don't think I brought any bug repellent. It's okay. All right. We should be all right now. Get me away from this dillo before we have more trouble even. All right. Where were we? Um. So, Xbox. Now that we got the lag fixed and the server reset and all this good stuff. Um, the next question was... Uh, let's see. Hey Z, for the Q&A, I watched several Pooping Evolve channels. Thank you! And notice that certain people get more views, but less likes, proportionally. You seem to sit about 10%. Is this 90% just viewers who do not, or not logged in? Can you tell via metrics? Or are they just, I mean, how hard is it? <laughs> so, that's a mystery that remains unknown <laughs> like, to all youtube right society. there is there is no metrics that can tell you if a viewer uh was logged in when they watched a video there's one metric that can tell how many subscribed unsubscribed views yeah. um but other than that that's about it and you really can't make heads or tails of that um for for likes as, as much 10 percent is basically the threshold of what i consider good um if i don't talk about them in a video by the way, if you haven't liked this video already, guys, please like it for me. Um, <laughs> if I haven't talked about it in a video, what ends up happening is statistically I get less. And a lot of people don't like it, but the numbers don't lie. So I don't try to reinvent the wheel. I just roll with it, you know. 
Uh, and most if people did the same curious, thing. If you're curious why we ask for likes and stuff like that, it just it helps our channels. It helps them grow. Yeah. It really does make a difference where we end up when people search for Ark Survival Evolved. It makes a difference where we end up, how many and engagements, likes, dislikes that we have. Right. It basically, if if there's there's the the specific metrics are kind of unknown to you know like exactly what it does, but statistically, a video of even metrics, um, with even views and all kinds of stuff, will show up in related videos and search results more. Than a video that does not have as many of the kind and basically i think youtube kind of looks at it as a validity standpoint like let's say y'all everybody's familiar with botting right what botting is like if somebody sets up a bot to to view a video ten thousand times like if that happened and it, it wouldn't get any likes okay so let's say i got ten thousand legitimate views with the same title same tag same description same everything even a re-upload of my own video on another channel of the same size and one would get zero likes and one would get the number of normal likes like 10,000 I would probably rank on top of that person that's kind of how the algorithm looks at it so that's as far as we know um, but anyway it does help it doesn't pay you or anything like that but likes are very important um, and they also let us know that the people like the videos so and that's that's what we kind of do it for comments sure don't comments are evil you guys are evil in the comments you know how you are not the people that <laughs> not the people that comment nice I mean the the, the guy that just called me an you know idiot the are. other day yeah he you you I'm talking to you you know um, so anyway next question uh, let's see here Hey Zuljan, I'm wanting to start up my own YouTube channel to play games like you, but I have no idea where to start. Any pointers or, or tips? Also, what software do you use to record gameplay? So, if you were to start a YouTube channel today, the best advice I could give you is just start. You're going to learn more along the way than you will ever learn from asking people advice about it. Um, what you'll do is get antiquated with things and have more specific questions like, what recording software do you use? And within that recording set software, what settings do you use? And those are very relevant questions because those are important. Um, there's a, you, you made a trike mat and it's coming our way. I think I'm going to have to help you with this and Drax. Wow. I shot it anyway. <laughs> I shot it anyway. So anyway, I use OBS to, uh, to record and to stream. Uh, yep, I used here. to use a program called DX Tory. A lot of pe yep, people use Fraps. <laughs> um, there's also XSplit that some people use. Some people use Bandicam. It really doesn't matter. The, the Whatever you can afford. There's a, a Dillo coming after you, by the way. Um, whatever you can afford that you know how to use that gives you good quality in your specific setup. Uh, and there's a raptor that's coming up on the right here. We should probably just All abandon right. this cove and head home, bro. We got so many stone right now. All right. Uh, let's see. What's my weight at? Uh, my weight I have 4,200. Oh. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. We good. Uh, 4,200 weight, meaning that I have like 420 stacks of stone. Is that right? Oh, goodness. Is that right? I have no idea. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's right. It's more than 40, I think. No, 40, 40, 40 at 100. No, yeah, it's 42 stacks, 420 stacks. We'd be sitting on <laughs> 42,000. It would be crazy. Anyway, um, yeah, so we use OBS primarily because it's lightweight, it's cheap, and it works on just about everything. Uh, so yeah, my advice is just start. Like, in, unless Drax has something to, to input on that, I would say just start. That's what we told Maz. Maz is a recently new channel, you know? Mm -hmm. He has some help because we kind of coach him along the way, but the, the most important thing you do is just make some videos. Make a hundred of them. Then you'll have some real, real working knowledge of how things kind of work, and then you can start asking more specific questions. Like, why are my videos getting a lot of views? That's a good question, you know? Yeah. And it's probably just because you're playing the wrong game. Like, I hate and, to say it, but Minecraft. Yeah, that, that's one of the things, too, is you got to stay relevant. You know, you can, you, if you want to start a channel where you play Minecraft, you know, you can do that. And some people will enjoy it, but the likelihood that you're going to get found and everything is not very high. Right. Um, my suggestion is play new stuff, relevant stuff, um, be consistent, and get good audio. 
That's those are yeah. my biggest. Yeah. That's true too. That's true too. And you still like you won't know what the difference between bad audio and good audio is until you actually plug a microphone in and make a few videos. Mm -hmm. So even if you're scared to upload them, just upload them privately and look at them yourself and compare them to your favorite YouTubers and say, where am I at in compared to this? And you'll see, you'll know right offhand, like, my voice sounds like crap. Why? Yeah. Is it because my mic or is it because of my settings or what? You know, and when I said Minecraft, that was just a cheap shot. But seriously, guys, play something that isn't oversaturated. YouTube is a search engine. Treat it like such. If you want to get found, if you're a person in a crowd of a million people and you wear a freaking green shirt, it's likely that you're going to get if it's likely that you're going to get noticed. There's probably only 100 other people that are wearing a green shirt just like yours, you know? So, is it easier to find a, you with green shirt? You have at least a descriptive quality to tell, "Hey, I'm the guy in the green shirt." Well, instead of a million people now, you only searching through 100. You know, and that's that's where you got to go from that. Anyway, I don't know about yeah. the green shirt uh, uh, thing. <laughs> you might want to cut that out. The video tracks. Anyway, um, <laughs> how did you come up with the name Zuljin? Zuljin was I, I actually named my barbarian on Diablo 2 Zuljin, um, and I spelled it Z U U L D J I N N. Um, and, yeah, and that was basically a play on words from. Cajun and the, the the big bad guy on Ghostbusters, the first movie from the 80s. Yes, I'm that <laughs> old. Um, so, it, yeah, I, I wanted, I, I, I thought the name Zul was really, really cool. And I wanted something that kind of went on Cajun roots, even though I haven't really even started kind of acting my own heritage uh, until recently. Um, that was that was how I came up with the name. Now, Drax, I believe you came across your name from Drax the Destroyer, which is part of Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Yep. A long time ago, back when I was on Xbox, uh, that was one of my first gamer tags was Drax. Um, back then, it was D R A X X X, and because I didn't at the time, I didn't know what X X X was, and <laughs> so once I got a little bit older, innocence. <laughs> it was it, I added an A and took off the X's and uh, yeah that's how I got and then the LP is just let's play that was just to start my channel but there you go man that's awesome yeah so okay so what is your favorite dinosaur that is not yet in arc so you can say so you can't say something like Spino that's the next question um, my favorite what Titanosaurus Titanosaurus so yeah the big big one that's like a mountain. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I would probably say that one, but my, um, I'm, I'm, the actual one that I'm, I'm most excited about, I don't know the name of it, but it's the lizard that has the sticky feet that can oh, walk yeah. on walls and surfaces and stuff. And like, I remember reading, um, the old, I've talked about this before, but the Drizzt du Erden books and, um, in the first book, uh, called Homeland, one of the, the Drizzt, the hero of the, the entire saga, his evil older brother, Denon. Um, the whole first part of the, like the whole first chapter is him um, doing some devious stuff and he's getting around the, the capital city of the Dark Elves, Menza Baranzin, with this lizard that can that can stick to walls and stuff like that. And it kind of, R.A. Salvatore kind of describes him doing that. And it's just like, you could just imagine it so well. And I was like, I want to do that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's cooler than flying, even though you, you can't get anywhere like flying or whatever. But it's still, it's it's very cool anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, if I had to guess, I'm actually really looking forward to um, that that bigger crocodile, the taller one. There's a new Have alligator. No. Or alligator that, no. that has the longer legs. I didn't see that. Oh, I don't remember what it's called, um, but yeah, it's another it's another version of a Sarko that's going to be coming to the game. Sweet, um, yeah, and it actually it looks really cool. But the one that can climb sides, that one's really cool. I forgot about that. And then uh, I think there was one that could climb trees too. But I, I oh yeah, I, I saw something about that. That is going to be really cool. Cool. Uh, okay, for your Q and A, my brother, how many hours of recording do you normally get? A 25 to 30 minute episode. Depends Ooh, on what we're doing. Yeah, it depends on what game. I'll, I'll put it to you this way. Some games are much more linear than others, and some episodes are much more linear than others. This episode, outside of the hiccups that we had with server and a few of the fights and stuff like that, honestly, we've just been kind of recording as we go, and not much editing is going to go into this. But let's say this same episode would have been a Bronto tame. 
Oh. So if it would have been Mars. a level 120 Bronto and we wouldn't have had kibble, even if we would have had kibble, it would have taken us like four hours to to record this video from start to finish because it would have been set up what we were going out to do or what problem we were trying to solve. Then we'd go out, we'd find a Bronto, we'd knock it down and we'd feed it and we would cut until it was up. And then we would build a saddle for it and then we would ride it around and swing its tail and that would be the episode, so to speak. But this episode is a little bit easier than that. It's not going to take us four hours. So some right. games that we play are a lot faster to do it. Processing time is roughly two minutes per minute of of, of video. So an hour to process a... Um, what I mean by process is basically edit it and render it once you have your template set up and stuff. Probably two minutes per minute on average of a video. Uh, and upload times vary, but I would say this video... We gonna take we're taking about forty minutes forty five minutes to record a thirty minute video and it's gonna take about forty five minutes to an hour to edit it and thirty to forty five minutes before it's uploaded and probably another half hour after that or an hour before it's processed and rated for HD processing. So yeah. uh, a lot of that is not active, like you don't have to do anything for it, but um, start to finish is probably a three or four hour process. The thing about that is, though, you can combine some things to kind of make that go faster. Or, you know, like you render all at the same time. So you can do a render while you're sleeping, for instance, and that kind of compresses your time frames. Or you can go eat supper and, and, and talk to your friends or, or, or do something else while that Bronto is taming. So you just kind of learn a little bit as you go. Um, Do you want me to take to you that. to the shore? Or I want the... you to take me to my water base so that I can okay. offload a bunch of this stuff. Uh, that way, are we just not there yet? Am I just like we not are not it? there? It's probably you probably have to take a little left here and go towards oh, the there shore. There you go. Yeah, it's um, it's kind of hard to spot actually. It's above the cave. If you ever want to know where it's at, it's 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 right above the cave. Like, and then should I pull? Kind of to the front side where we put the, those smithies? The other side, uh, actually, yeah. Down the smithies. And that should do it. And honestly, if you were able to somehow glitch me in there and then pull out, uh, that would probably fix a bunch of stuff. So, All right, get let's... me... This is going to be hard. <laughs> bum, ba -da -da, bum, ba -da -da, bum, ba All right, while you're doing this, I'll go one or two more questions here. Uh, would you guys ever consider yeah. using better beacons uh, mods on the server? Um, it did not glitch me, Drax. I know, and I can't back up either. You can't back up? Why? Uh uh. What? You can't back up on a boat. Oh no! You you take a hard left. Just take a hard left. Uh, uh, oh wait 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 guess. wait wait! <laughs> don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, All right. You turn Oh, what did I do? How did I, I think you turned on your? I turned on my fabricator. <laughs> Sheesh! I don't know how. All right, this is this is what we're gonna do here. It's all thatch and stuff. How many spaces do I have in here? Um, here, I will take everything out of this one, and you just fill it up. Okay. That one's empty now. Transfer all items. Yeah. All right, I'm transferring stuff that I don't even need just to make this faster. Um, all right, next question. Uh, would you basically two questions tied into one? One's talking about some specific mods. The other one is talking about mods in general. So let me address this. The reason that we don't do mods, guys, is that up until very very recently, we did a lot of there was a lot of updates for work, like tons, like sometimes two or three a week and when that happens uh you need to be able to as a youtuber you kind of want to cover that and show it you know and we could not do that with mods because they take time to update uh and and minutes and hours are very precious in youtube time because we're competing oh, yeah. with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other channels that are trying to get the same search results as we are so uh, the answer is we would probably have to have a separate server if we would want to do the same thing with mods. And most of the mods, the, the content is basically it's a little light. So if we would want to do, yeah. 
if we would want to do mod content, the thing to make it, it would make most sense would be to take well just basically spotlights, you know? Because even though we play this game as much as we play, I think I'm full, by the way, Drax. Uh even though we play this game as much as we play, uh we like to oh. Let me see. I can probably move a few more to this other one. Oh no, I think I switched access inventory. Dang, man. All right, let me take this flag back. Yeah. T T T T. Do you need those dino glasses for anything? No. And throw those away. All right. See so, ya. Yeah. That's another seven slots. Long story short, guys, is mod content is much easier to produce in a single-player environment. And we already play enough Orc. Yeah. Like, I don't desire to play as many games as... I mean, I don't desire to limit myself to play one game. Even for views, I still like to mix it up. Um, because, it, just like anything else, like, it gets redundant no matter what. Like, I love pizza. But most people that love pizza that work at a pizza restaurant can sometimes not have the same love for pizza when they smell it, see it, taste it 24-7, you know? Yeah. And ARK is kind of the same way. As much as I love the game, every game that I play right now, even off camera, I can only play so much of it because, I mean, it gets tiring, man. Like, you don't want to just play mm -hmm. something. You don't want to wear yourself out. Your favorite songs, you listen to other songs between them, right? You know, you don't just listen to your favorite song over and over again. You might a few times. But let's just face it, you don't do it 50 times in a row. You know, you do it maybe two or three and you call it good. So, yeah. And that's my Patreon server actually runs with mods on it right now. And they they think it's really cool and they, they love the new map. But, you know, it's one of those things. It, it's part of it's broken. Um, it's not updated to like. To have all the, the pieces in it and everything. Yeah. So it's just it's just one of those things that. It's cool, but I I kind of don't want to do another arc series. Right. That's why I stopped doing arc on Xbox because yep. I was. Yeah, you know, think so. about you. You, know, you just asked some questions about our favorite dinosaur. Think about if they just came out with that lizard, right? And I really wanted to play with that lizard, uh, and then our server was modded, so we couldn't do that. <laughs> like you would have to wait or. We would have to sacrifice things like, yeah, we could update the server and bring it back to vanilla, but all those special structures that are part of this mod or all these pets that were alphas that we tamed, all that would go away, you know? So, yeah, you yep. can't you can't do that in a server environment, especially not when you're producing com content. People used to seeing stuff that's constant, and if that changes drastically without explanation or even with explanation, it just breaks the contingency of it all, and it's just it's not good for videos. So, um but I tell you what, brother, I think we out of time. Uh, you guys need to let us know in the convo in the in the comments below if we should do this again because I absolutely love this, Drax. I yeah, absolutely it's a lot love of fun, this dude. I, I love doing the whole talky and you know doing that kind of stuff. So, how's your? Uh, you got enough? You got enough stone, partner? I got I I, I got stone My for entire days. Smithy is still full. full oh, so. you, yeah, you got, yeah, cool, man, cool. Well, we just, <laughs> we'll just fix it up. You got yourself a, a new fan, fandangled raft with all these new decorations that I taught you how to do. We both got a yeah. ton of stone, and we both answered a lot of questions. So, that's, um, I think that's gonna be it, you guys. And just like we said earlier, if you guys like the video, help our statistics and give us a like on that like button. We would really appreciate it. Um, I said dap on that like button. That's what I said. And uh, you can subscribe <laughs> to Drax's channel using the links below. It's www.youtube.com slash DraxLP. He's going to produce this same video. You don't have to watch it because it will be all the same content. But you should at least go over there and give him a, a dap on that like button. Um, yeah. And if you're watching Drax's video, come hit mine. We'd appreciate it. And other than that, that's it. You got anything else, Draxy? No, I think that's just about it, man. All right, guys. We will see you all next time. The is not pointed to the seat, so we should have this set up. Oh, and Menace's car just took off. <laughs>